Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing Cassid in mid lane versus Diana. Um, they also have a Mordekaiser jungle, so they have kind of AP heavy team comp. Even Varus does a, of some AP damage as well, the Riven being the full AD champion. My team's trying to loop on this guy. So Kasten, those buffs came through, whereas Q shield is like instant now, plus his E now has that uh, cooldown where rather than being gated by spell cast, now just gets reduced by a second every single time anybody ever uses an ability. So, very powerful ability, but we're still a cast at the end of the day. Uh, these are the runes that I'm taking, pretty standard. I really like going for the defensive rune page because all that really matters is just reaching level 6, then you're online, and you can actually play the game. Before 6, you don't really do anything. And then, also, uh, let's just use Q here. So, as you can see, I shielded myself, so when I got hit by that Q, it did like no damage at all, right? That's the thing that they changed. Beforehand, when I press Q, I would not get the shield until it actually lands on the target. So now I actually get it beforehand. You mainly want to use it for the shield rather than the poke. I didn't know if she was immediately going to use it, so that's why... Uh... Okay, she just missed there. I mean, I guess we can try to poke her out. She has TP, though. So I'll just play back here. She got level 2 before me. I mean, that's pretty standard. Our goal is just reach 6. She'll hit me here, but that's okay. We'll shield ourselves while we also go for the creep. Not really that big of a deal. Diana actually has pretty good poke because all she does is spam Q, and it has a relatively low mana cost. So um, let's see if we can auto get all these. So, wow. Dang, I thought that maybe would deal enough. Your W gives you the bonus auto attack damage of, what, 22 right now? So uh, it's also an animate not an animation uh auto attack reset so i was trying to like weave it under tower to the point that it would maybe let me get everything but it didn't work out so it looks like the best thing to max or i imagine the best thing to max is the uh e now after the change making it so it goes on a lower cooldown and also the slow goes to 90 it goes to 90 percent wow i didn't even realize that it goes up that high Jeez. so we'll cue her again when she hits us with that uh just continue csing Only goal is just reach six. That's it. So we can even animation or not. God, I keep on saying animation cancel, not auto attack cancel. But uh, we auto attack her once, and then you press W, and that will reset your auto. So you get big chunks off on people by doing that. So we're down four CS. Not really that big of a deal. Top is being dope, but he's healing for a lot, and it looks like he might be able to outplay the dive does not outplay the dive and misses a lot too. This person used her TP, so she no longer has that. She went for a Dark Seal purchase, it looks like. The reason for us buying a Dark Seal is because it um, makes it so you can buy this refillable. So when I base, I don't have to rebuy potions. So uh, we get to just keep our money rather than buying pots and buy other more important things like tier plus boots, right? So now we're a little bit faster, plus now we can start stacking this tier because we need mana on Cassidy, make it so we have a big mana pool to uh, spam our R on top of people. That is also warded. I don't know why I used my E there, that was pretty stupid by me. She might jump on me because of that. Yeah, I had a feeling. Because that was a pretty bad trade by me using my ability that way. I really want to clear this out, but honestly, it might just be too hard. Let's just use my E again on the wave. Um. This cane is coming mid. Their pain bot lane, lane is missing, but the thing is that, like, it's a Lulu, so that doesn't seem very threatening if I was to get ganked, right? Just Q her again. Oh, thank god that last Q not hitting me is huge. Okay, so he's just going for some cane stacks here. Oh. Okay, I did hit her with that big damage. And now Mordekaiser is trying to fix the wave, I guess. Just to hit that guy a little bit. Got good damage on him as well. Nice. This is so big for us, actually. Dude, this Kane is getting an unbelievable amount of stacks here for playing like this. Maybe if my E landed, I could have flashed. But but we're going to reach 6 here, so well. 
We missed some creeps, but we're still doing good versus Diana. And also, that could have just won us the entire game. That's the crazy part about Kasten. Firstly, his win rate is absolutely bonkers right now. I I think that these are these buffs are actually too much. This is it's so crazy good right now. Um, and we'll just go tanky because they have a pretty tanky team comp uh, with the Diana plus the Mordekaiser. They have they're like bruiser esque AP champions. I really like going kind of tanky myself. So I'm gonna go Rod of Ages. Even though I don't really like the item, I think that there's a few champions that can utilize it well, like Kassadin. Because uh, we get that bonus level at max stacks that will bring us closer to level 16, where everybody knows that once you're level 16, you it feels like you automatically just win the game, because that's how Kassadin functions. Um, so, I'm just going to clear this out real fast. Hmm... I just stole that. He's probably mad. Oh my god, that is so frustrating, probably. Okay, I'm just gonna E her. Do a little bit of damage back, but not anything too insane. She won the trade, but we already got what we wanted, and I'm just waiting for this wave to crash. Ooh, dang, I one-shot the creep, so I was trying to prep them with my R. So anyways, how your main ability works, your R damage, is it's ramping, so it costs more mana every single time you use it, up to four casts where it costs 640 mana which is a lot but the damage ramps up as well so uh what happens is is you just kind of want to spam r on top of people and then just continue doing these short trades over and over again and uh you'll have the damage ramp up until the point that you can eventually maybe kill them with it uh, the threat of her is she has that knockback and she has good damage herself get that creep so i can like r forward eq like for a little bit of a trade it's not like an insane trade but it, it's like poke damage oh she might jump on me immediately ult okay we'll flash we almost got her all it would take is one more hit but maybe this guy can kill See, that's the problem with early game Cassidy before you have like too many items. You're kind of a stat check champion where it requires less and less as the game goes on. Oh, this guy just fixed my way for me. Thanks, man. Uh, top lane's losing, but I mean, he was dove pretty early on. So I'm just going to base here. I think Kane kills probably because he has ultimate and she has no ult yet. Okay, close. She had flash. Yeah, the reason why she didn't flash follow me is because... Uh, when I did burn my flash, she already used her Q, so she was all out of abilities, so she wouldn't have anything left to cast on me. So, that's why she didn't flash follow in, in case you were curious. Oh, wait, we just auto win because bot lane's winning, huh? We might just auto win off that. I guess we'll find out. People throw, I guess. The The good part about playing Cassidy is that if your team is, like, doing good, looks like they're managing, right? Um, your insurance... So basically, if the game goes long, you're just the insurance to make sure that you will win. I can help out with this play here. Okay, well, it sucks that I wasn't able to like help too much, but we have ultimate hunter stacks from Mordekaiser dying. Oh, wait, no. I think we already got an assist on him earlier, right? We'll just Q past her. Oh, I did get the creep, but that's okay. Let's just get the whole wave here. Even though I ramped up my mana cost where I only have one left, we'll just wait for it to time out. You can see it here. It also has that like visual around it too. And we'll just be chill. Not do anything too crazy. Dodge her ability, just farm. I don't want it to crash because I didn't know if uh, it would mess up the creeps on accident. So Lulu has basically sacked bot to perma roam. So what's going on now is like, I'm just gonna cancel her TP. She was trying to TP bot because I guess uh, she could maybe stay under tower while Varus can't because Varus just dies, right? Um, so because of that, okay, I guess this guy's just dead now. Man, he's so mad. <laughs> Oh, or he's, he's tilted, I guess. Not mad, he's just tilted. They did get the rift, though, so that's what they wanted. They need to play for objectives to come back into this game, but... 
And that gave me a shield even though my Q didn't go off. That's kind of weird. Okay, look at that. See, Diana was able to secure a kill on my teammate. Yeah, so what was going to happen is Varus sits mid uh, because I guess it's more safe to be only against me rather than bot versus two people who can easily die from under tower. And then Diana will be under tower instead, right? Um... <laughs> I think that he's still playing the game. He's just really far behind. I'm really close to my item. I really want to get this. I think that uh, because Samira is now done with the uh, bot, because she already got the tower, I'm going to be the person side laning. Cassida normally side lanes whenever bot lanes shift mid. Doesn't matter if it's your team or, or the enemy team. Um, because just being... You're, you're a pretty safe champion side lane. Okay, why am I, why am I staying? Or, yeah, okay. We're going to base. We want our item. We want to get the stacks fast. I have it. Samira will just continue killing this Varus on repeat. That's huge. Is this guy gonna get dope? We'll TP top immediately here. Let's let's help out with this. Oh wait, what? <laughs> I thought I had flash. I pressed my flash key but didn't go off. We can still chase. Oh never mind, we can't. He flashed and hit the wall. That was so weird, yeah. Okay, nice. Now, Diana should have pushed out bot and just taken basically the whole entire tower, but she didn't. Which is good. Because I'm... Diana pushes fast. I don't know where she honestly went if she didn't go bot. It's kind of odd that she didn't just use her passive on the tower and just take the full plates just immediately. Uh, level 11 is one of the biggest spikes for Cassidy before 16. Uh, it makes you strong for the whole entire mid game just because it's your main damage ability, so. We can just QE back. She has Ravenous, so as you can see, I didn't do any damage at all with her shield as well. She has really spammable spells, though, which is pretty nice for my abilities. But you can see the damage, once again, it doesn't go through her shield. This is why Cassidy's a scaling champion. And also, the, the main damage... The E is for the slow, but the damage source is the R. If I use my R on top of her, she might immediately all in. I don't... She might have enough burst to kill me, so that's why I'm not just jumping on her. And I'm only going for auto attacks to see if she's going to jump on me instead. I'm going to go for... Sorks. That sounds kind of fun, this game. Just have huge damage with the magic pen. We're going to lose top tower, but it would have been hard to defend it regardless. Once I'm level 11, I might be comfortable trying to maybe do a 1v1, possibly. It depends on how it starts. If I can start it off with just one massive 4-stack R for the huge damage, I might be more comfortable doing it. Or if, like, a teammate is nearby. I'm not gonna face check that. The good news is also, like, even though top lane's losing, because I'm the person matching her, even though I'm not extending my lead because it's hard for me to punish her, um, my Aatrox... I think is able to maybe survive versus Diana. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's just gonna die. That's bad then. <laughs> no, no, he's doing good. He's winning. See, that's big. So he's out of the lane that he doesn't like and he's in the lane that he does, right? And that was actually a decent chunk there. I finally landed something on her that, that did damage. Oh, uh, let's just take this so uh, Mordekaiser can't use it because he doesn't have flash or anything. He only has ghost. The thing is, I also have, like, a scaling item, so I'm not really sure. That was so weird. Why did my unit start walking back? Okay, so we'll just leave. We got her stuff. She might flash. No. 
Okay, but she's low now. I don't know. She has no ignite, no ultimate. She might die to Kane now for that play. Yeah, she went too aggressive. I was just waiting. If she flashes, I'll flash myself. She knows that if this game goes long, we basically just win. Because, once again, Cassidy. So, maybe she's feeling a bit desperate about like, oh, okay, Cassidy already has a lead and he's scaling up. I need to do something now. That could be a possibility. Desperation is a very common theme of like doing misplays. Where is this Mord? Am I going to run into him? He's going to ulti me? I do... Okay, never mind. He's mid. He ultied the Samira and almost killed her, but they live. So we'll just take top tower here. This is basically like a kill for ourselves. Plus we're almost fully stacked on tier too. I'm not gonna max Q, I'm just gonna max my W. It deals more damage, but also um I care about the mana restore when you hit a champion. It returns percent of your missing mana, so it'll just make it so I can use my ultimate more often if I'm ever low. I'm just going to sell my potion and buy this straight up. All right, we should be able to just beat anybody 1v1. I'm okay with going versus Diana side lane. I mean, I don't really play Kassen anymore, but I, I feel like I, even though I have a, a Rod of Ages that's not even fully stacked yet, so it can get even stronger, I think I still win. I believe. Yep, she's here. She just used her shield, so that's down. We'll just wait for it to expire, like right now. Nah, I still hit her with it, but that's okay. We'll just R on top of her, start auto attacking. R on top of her again, use this, get back a little bit of mana, R again. It missed, but doesn't matter. She's just dead. As you can see, she did like no damage in return. She was just trying to clear out the wave. Yeah, the reason why Kasten is like such a high win rate is Certain picks just feel like you just you just beat them so hard in draft that they just never can play, and it's super frustrating for them. Did my Q even count? Oh, he has QSS, right. The Kane has QSS, so he can just leave. He should have ultied me, huh? Should have ulted me. Where do you have 10 stack Dark Seal as well? Oh, maybe I can go bot? Oh, if you baited a bit harder, I could have TP'd there. Oh, well. Let's just hit top instead. No reason to base, I guess. Let's just get closer to our uh, level 16. It would be great if we can get this uh, level 16 at the same time that this Rod of Ages is fully stacked. Like, we're 15 and then we level up to 10 stacks. Damn, we just one-shot the wave like that, huh? Got the whole entire wave cleared. We'll just run away because I'm the only person that they can go for right now. So we're not trying to throw the game. Like, see, Riven and Lulu are here both. So. And Diana. Oh, that didn't hit her, dang. I was hoping that she would go around that corner, but she didn't. Let's see, even versus something like a Riven, where we have like no armor, and also you're better versus magic damage dealers, because all your passive is, is you're ghosted, so you can go through creeps, but also it's just you take 10% less damage from um, magic damage, specifically. That's it. So, she has no magic damage. That doesn't affect her at all. But still, if we just stack up the ultimate uh, beforehand, play around her own abilities, juke some of them, and then just are on top of her face over and over again. Two second cooldown, and it deals like 500 damage when it's fully stacked. So. And we're not even 16 yet. And then it'll go down to a one second cooldown and be even more spammable. They're probably going to FF soon, I imagine. I really feel like there's no way for them to come back at this point. That hook, though.
Damn, I'm so close to leveling up. If I can get a level up right now, I'll be 16 pretty soon. Because I'm on my last minute of my Rod of Ages to be fully done with it. So they're all going bot, which is why my team's pinging for the Baron, because if we... If they send everybody to kill one person, you should just do an objective on the other side of the map. So, they're desperate. They need to get some type of kill or something to, like, come back into the game. So the only thing that they can do is chase this Aatrox, which they are unable to kill him. And we just got the Baron now. That levels me up. And then I'm going to be level 16 now, too. Yeah, I'm 16. I'm just going to TP in, man. Let's just fight. 16 is huge. I don't even care if I get to fight everything. I'll just continue fighting. I'll just Zhonya's this. Level 16. One second ultimate cooldown. Spam the hell of it on people's face. Everybody dies. And yeah, now they FF. They probably should have FF'd earlier, but yeah. Uh, Kassadin. Extremely strong champion right now. I... Imagine they should be nerfing him. In my opinion, it's a bit too easy to play to the point that it's just like, it doesn't even feel fair to play against. But the issue is, of course, you can get counterpicked by like 80 champions. Like playing like Cassidy against like Aatrox mid can sometimes be very frustrating. So um, anyways, we'll play by uh, our support and obviously jungle coming mid and helping out a lot. We did most damage in the game. Probably a lot of that damage came from the very end of it. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary on the casting gameplay. Sorry, it was kind of stompy because of our bot lane also performing very well, but a good showcase of what you're supposed to do with this champion and how damn powerful he is after the significant buffs that he got uh, on his E and his Q. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.